just think of a little skull cap that measures brain waves. So we measure those electrical signals and we tell the patient to imagine doing something with their hand that they might not be able to do. For example, stretch their fingers out or grasp an object, whatever. And so we tell, give them that instruction. They will imagine it in their mind and they will try and move their hand, but they won't be able to. And what the brain-computer interface can do is read those electrical signals from his brain of him trying to do it and then recognize that that is what the instruction is and then actually instruct a robotic arm to move his hand in the way that he thought. And so then he gets the biofeedback and the sensation of that happening. So he'll imagine something with his hand and then he'll get that movement forced on his hand. And what we found is by doing this training procedure for a half an hour, we can then uh, score that person to see how well he's improved. And what we did is we then did had um, 10 half-hour sessions over a period of time, over a month or so, and found that the score increasingly improved and uh, in fact in, improved by about 36% overall. So it was quite a remarkable result. Nothing like this has ever been achieved before to get such a large improvement just over, you know, essentially five hours of training time. How do you want to develop this now? What's next? So this particular study was done with one stroke patient and that improvement of 36% is extremely encouraging. So the next step is to do it with a larger cohort of patients to see can we in fact totally transform somebody who's had a stroke.